radio, television, cell phones, or other more sophisticated equipment. We can even put satellite dishes used by television stations to send signals up to satellites in the category of being called antennas. However, a satellite dish on home, which is only used for air reception for television signals, would more rightly be considered an aerial. Aerials are used for receptions, not for transmission. Today, it is much more common to find them made out of aluminum tubing. The tubing allows the aerial to be freestanding, whereas a wire area requires something to attach it to at each end. Although it has been done for years, the hardest aerial design problem is to create an aerial that can be used for receiving multiple frequencies. For our aerial, we chose the Yagi Uda design. Our considerations when we decided to choose the design are the following. First, easy to make. Second, high gain. Third, low interference level. And lastly, compatibility to feeling in digital television. The Yagi Uda is a directional area, meaning it receives data from one specific direction. It has two types of elements, the active element and the parasitic element. The active element consists of the driven element, while the parasitic element consists of the reflector and the director. The driven element is the only element that is connected to the supply, while the director and reflector depend on the driven element for power. So for the measurements for the design of our antenna, we will create an antenna that will be operating from the lower cut of frequency of 485.143 MHz to an upper cut of frequency of 695.143 MHz. So for it to have a greater reception, we will create a frequency which will have a margin of error. So for 85.143 MHz will be rounded off to 470 MHz while the 695.143 MHz will be rounded off to 710 MHz. So to compute the center frequency of our area, we will add the higher frequency and the lower frequency and divide it by 2. So 470 MHz plus 710 MHz divided by 2 is equal to 590 MHz. This will be the center frequency of the area. So to compute for the wavelength of the aerial, we simply divide the speed of light with the frequency, the center frequency. So it will be 3 times 10 to the 8 meter per second divided by 590 times 10 to the 6 per second, which is equivalent to hertz. So the resulting wavelength will be 0 0.5085. So since we will be using a Yagi Uda aerial, the driven element will be half wavelength so it will be resonant to the center frequency so the half wavelength is equivalent to 0 0.25 meters so this will be the length of the director that we will be using in our Yagi Uda area for the reflector the reflector will be 5% longer than the driven element so 0 0.25 meters plus 5% of 0 0.25 is equivalent to 0 0.275 meters we rounded it up to 0 0.3 because the, the reflector element needs to be capacitive so that it will lock the electromagnetic waves and it will push it forward to the driven element so that the power will be concentrated in one direction only. In our design, we arrived at the total of 6 directors. So each director is 5% smaller than the one before it. So starting from director 1, we have the, the half wavelength 0 0.25 minus 5% of 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.23 meters. For director number 2, we have 0 0.23 meters minus 5% of 0 0.23 meters, which is equivalent to 0 0.21 meters. For director number 3, we have 0 0.21 meters minus 5% of 0 0.21 meters, is equivalent to 0 0.19 meters. Number 4 is 0 0.19 meters minus 5% of 0.19 meters is equal to 0.18 meters. Director number 5 will be 0.18 meters minus 5% of 
of 0.18 meters is equal to 0.17 meters and the last director will be 0.17 meters minus 5% of 0.17 meters which is equivalent to 0.16 meters. These directors need to be smaller than the driven element because they need to be inductive so they will lead the electromagnetic waves so it will be pushed forward. So for the reflector to director spacing, we come up with the measurement of lambda over 4. So it is equivalent to 0.125 meters. We rounded it down to 0.12 meters because the shorter the spaces between the reflector to director, the more easier it is for the reflector to reflect the electromagnetic waves from the driven element. And from the driven to the director and director to director spacing, we use the formula lambda over 10, which will be equivalent to 0.10 meters. Things that bother you never bother me. Things that bother you never bother me. I feel happy and fine. Ha -ha. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Having got a lot, I don't need a lot. Coffee's only a dime. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Based on testing, we were able to display the channels on digital television. As for the quality, it is comparable to the commercial antennas. However, the orientation of our aerial is important for the reception. The final output of our aerial is large due to additional directors for higher gain.